Hey everyone, John Houck here, and we're going to take a look inside of a Cafe Lot robot uh, CAD model uh, to see what happens inside when you pull, uh, pull a shot of espresso. So uh, this is not an introduction to the robot, so there are plenty of videos out there that show you how to use a real one. Uh, this is just a CAD model. Um, to get to this online on your own computer, um, you can go to bit period ly forward slash and then Cafe Lot Robot as one word with a capital C, capital R. When you hit that, uh, then it will open up this particular uh, website that we're at. And you don't need to create an account. You don't need to sign in. You can just do this from any um, web browser. And here we go. So I'm going to uh, tell you what mouse commands I'm doing a little bit, but you can explore different mouse commands down here as well. Um, I'm going to click and hold the middle mouse just to kind of move it around. And I'm going to click and hold the right mouse. That allows me to kind of spin it. And then I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to cl click here with my left mouse button. And you can see that you can actually raise and lower the arms, which is pretty exciting. Uh, so how does a Cafe Lot robot work? Well, it makes espresso. And it does that by... Um, forcing hot water through the port of filter. So you've seen videos of people actually using it. So this is really just going to focus on looking inside. So I'm going to create a section view. So I'm going to click on this icon down here. And then I'm going to, it says, um, select a plane, face, cylinder, whatever. Uh, what I would suggest you do if you want to start off uh, doing this is click the center of this um, body. Uh, it sectioned a lot of things, so what I like to do is I like to go to Include, and then you click where it says Include here, and I'm going to section just the body, and I'm, whoops, I'm going to spin the mouse wheel uh, forward a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this label. I'm going to cut into the porta filter. I'm going to cut into the basket. I'm going to cut into the piston. I'm going to cut into the um, uh, piston gasket. And we have this uh, dispersion screen here um, that I'm going to cut into as well. And I think and I can cut into this black ring up here. And then I'll click OK. So now we kind of have a cross section of the robot, but um, we're letting a couple things stick out. Uh, so let's kind of um, look at what happens in general when you raise and lower these arms. So I'll just go ahead and hold it like this and grab this arm and raise it up. So uh, as you can see, this, these arms have kind of a linkage uh, here, and you guys have probably already observed that. Uh, it rotates a, uh, around the cylinder. So let me go ahead and hide that disc here. And you can kind of see that here's the arm. And when you uh, raise and lower it, it pulls and lowers these other arms, which then go on this uh, this. Uh, shaft here um, and this shaft pin then connects those arms to uh, this piston. Uh, the piston then uh, raises up and down these gaskets um, along the inside of the basket. So really all you're doing is when you're um, uh, when you're uh, forcing water through the basket you you raise the arms up um, you uh, attach the porta filter so there would be uh, coffee under uh, between the um, dispersion screen here and uh, this area um, above the, the perforated holes in the basket. This is where your uh, ground coffee would be. You would fill the water, uh, not all the way to the top, um, maybe a centimeter from the top or so. And then you would attach the porta filter. And you can see the porta filter attaches with these uh, little dog ears. Um, uh, sticking out there and then when you um, when you go ahead and uh, lower the arms um, that's when you um, create the pressure that forces the water through and uh, through the coffee grounds which then drops into uh, uh, typically people don't have uh, have this uh, have this um, spout so let me go ahead and hide that and uh, kind of hide this little gasket here as well. Um, so typically this is uh, how people would uh, be normally brewing espresso. Um, so just to give you a sense of what's going on inside, um, uh, you probably already knew what happened, but it's kind of kind of fun sometimes just to see really what it looks like when you raise and lower these arms. So I'll do it a couple more times for you and then we'll call this video uh, video done. 
um, I guess one thing to look at is um, when you look at here is is this little uh, pin that we have for the dispersion screen. Um, there's actually a hole in the bottom of the piston, and you can see what that's for. Um, and is there anything else? Yeah, so I'm going to turn section view off and just show you a couple of other things that you can do when you're looking at this is you can um, change the color. So that's pretty exciting. Um, so you would just uh, come over here and change that to blue, and you would wait till the spinner stops spinning as it's um, uh, taking extraordinarily long to change the color. And uh, let's give that just a second. All right, sorry. Um, there we go. Um, and I'm just going to show there's other options as well. And then um, we have the uh, barista style, which puts on the, um, the pressure gauge. So you can see the pressure gauge here. Now, when you're doing this, um, I just have to apologize that if you lower the arms, uh, the pressure gauge looks like it's in the right spot when you raise it. Yeah, I don't know how to make that move um, on the CAD model when you raise and lower it. So um, bear with me on that. It looks really good when this is down. And uh, so let's take a look inside again real quick, see what that, uh, how that pressure gauge hole, uh, uh, pressure gauge tube uh, is connected. Um, you can see there's a, a tube that um, uh, allows the uh, pressurized uh, water and uh, to kind of go up through this tube here and uh, be registered by that uh, manometer right there. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Layout ready to brew or prepping. So let me turn off uh, section view again. And this is just kind of um, a look at all the parts um, when they're uh, uh, it kind of laid out that way. Um, the other thing is, uh, if you want, uh, you can come into this parts tab. You can pick a particular part. Let's say, um, uh, I don't know, uh, the tamper. Um, I think that's here somewhere. Um, P, Q, R, S, T, tamper. There it is. And so you can bring this tamper up. And if, let's say, you wanted to 3D print this tamper or export it, you can do that. So you come up over here, right click on it, and click export. And you can export it as all the, into a SolidWorks or Parasolid um, or STL for 3D printing. So if you do STL for 3D printing, you can uh, pick what resolution you want, click export, and then. Um, there you go. I've got the Tamper STL on my local machine, and I can 3D print that if I want. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, it's already been eight minutes. Thanks a lot, and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.